Hey everybody, welcome to Cooking with Jack's show. Uh, some of you who are new to the show may not realize, but on the show we're using uh, nothing but the Rachel Ray cookware and we're giving it a try for the whole year of 2014. So far, I love the pots, I love the pans, I love the, the cast iron skillet, it's great. Uh, I hate the tongs, the tongs are horrible, they don't pick up anything. So I'm gonna be just tossing these, donating these to somebody. But the Rachel Ray knife sharpener, I bought that and it fell apart in my hands, it broke, so I sent it back to the company uh, that I bought it through. Now they don't make it, uh, Knife Country USA is where I bought it from. In fact, I don't think they sell it anymore because they've had lots of problems with that product. They're like, hey listen, we noticed you have a cooking show, we'd like to introduce you to a different knife sharpener that we think is a lot better. So they sent me to experiment with, it's not a sponsored show, meaning if I don't like it, I get to say that I don't like it. That's what's cool about not having sponsors when I'm doing product reviews. I love reviewing products that I can say I think is garbage or I completely love it. So here's a knife sharpener, it's pretty elaborate, I'll show you up close in a minute. And they're like, can we send you a few knives? I'm like, um, okay. So Knife Country USA uh, sent me some knives, Victorinox knives, Victor, I think that's how you pronounce it, Victorinox. Okay, now, this is an interesting story. So you guys know Swiss Army, right? Everybody knows that? Well, they own and make Victorinox knives. Now, Victorino Victorinox knives, I'm gonna trip over this word all day long, they also make the Forstner knife. Now, every butcher I know uses Forstner, uh, but it seems that as of 2011, Victorinox no longer makes Forstner. Are you with me still? Okay, very cool. So we got Victorinox knives. That's the new name they're going under. Uh, you still have the Forstner quality, but it has a different name. So I got some knives. I don't want to show you up close. Uh, I was a little surprised by what they sent me. I thought they were just going to send me a few knives. They sent me a lot of knives. So let's show you the knife sharpener first. This is the V-Sharp Warthog Sharpener Classic 2. What a mouthful. But that's the sharpener. Look at it. It looks like one of those devices like when you break your back and you have to have like all these metallic things and metal rods and stuff. This does, it's pretty cool. It does the 30 degree, 25 degree, and 20 degree sharpening. And it teaches you all in the back. Whoops, there you go. So let me show you. First they sent me this one. And this is because they saw my wife in one of her videos. One of the two videos she did over six years, and she gets a knife. Can you believe that? They sent her the pink uh, pure Komachi knife. Then they sent me, this is a, a small bread knife. I love bread knives. Bread knives are my favorite thing to use. There you go. Beautiful. Uh, Victorinox uh, is my favorite thing to use, a bread knife on tomatoes. Then they sent me this Victorinox, it's a peeler. Then this little guy is interesting. Look at this little guy. Let me get you in close. Now I'm going to call this a, also a peeler. I have to look this up. If you know what this is for, or a better use for it. It looks like a peeler. And once again, the Victorinox name is on it. And so it looks like a small peeler but also looks like uh, it's made for cutting out, like gouging out for strawberries and stuff. And then this beautiful chef knife. There it is. Now, I'm gonna ask you guys to tell me what is this knife used for? It's not a test, I don't know. I mean, I guess uh, the, the V shape is for poking things and picking them up, but uh, I'm not sure I would use this as opposed to just a smaller uh, paring knife. And then you got this one. And this is kind of, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure the name of it. It's 40101. It's got the shape of a Santoku. It's like a really short Santoku. Now here's where it gets crazy. So, Victorinox, or uh, Knife Country USA, sends me the Victorinox carrying case for all your knives. So I'm like, oh, cool. So, I'm, so if you've never seen one of these, if you've ever watched Top Chef, usually when they lose, you see them open this up and put all their knives in there. So all the knives I got will go in here. They'll fit everywhere. So I'm sitting here and I'm going to put my knives in and I unzip it and I open it up 
and there are more knives inside. And I'm like, oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding me. They loaded me up. Look at this. So I'm really excited about it. And these are the cool looking knives. I love these knives. Don't get me wrong. These knives are good. But when you have a knife that looks like this, I mean, look at that. Let's pull this out carefully. I mean, come on. Look how cool this knife looks. Ta-da. Is that killer? Now, I don't, I don't mean, I may start, it feels great in your hand. It's got a good weight balance for slicing, doing some ribs. I don't know. And this one is, looks like a fillet knife. So there you go, Victorinox. Knox. And then you have a smaller version of the one I just pulled out. Yeah, yeah. What is it with guys with knives? Yeah. All right. Don't mess with me. I'm serious. <laughs> and you all know what this is. <laughs> this kills me. I have 1,400 knives in front of me, and I'm trying to rip this open. Okay, I think I found out what this knife is for. Yep, that's to sharpen them up right there. And that goes right in the set. Okay, and that's your boning knife right there. That is great for ribs also when you're trying to cut between the ribs and stuff. And then here's your paring knife. Ta-da! All right, so the watermelon, that's always one you gotta be careful with. I always use the chef knife for that, the longest one I've got. So I'm going to cut the watermelon. It's gonna go right through it, right down. There you go. Rotate it. Out of the rest of the way, we're good. That was super easy. Love. Look at that. You would, <laughs> I'm going right through the core. Here we go. Wow. Gotta be real careful. Look at that. It just cuts great. I don't even know if that's how I want my watermelon cut. I just wanted to start cutting it. I probably shouldn't have cut it this way, but I don't care. Look how beautiful that is. Look at that one. Mmm. Mmm. I found a use for the little knife. Look at this. Look what this does. Ready? Watch this. It goes right through it. Da da da. Pull the other side. Just like butter. Boink. All right. So you carefully cut the end off this thing. Then you're carefully going to cut in half. There we go. Make sure the root stays intact. All right. I like to come in here carefully, just give it a little bit of, almost all the way through slice, right? Down the middle. Okay, and you pull it back out. Then you come in here carefully, slice, 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 slice. This is cutting through everything like butter. This is the sharpest knife I probably owned out of the box. It's just like, whoa, whoa, yay, tons of onions. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. As I said, one of my favorite things to use the bread knife for is not bread, because I don't normally use bread, is tomatoes. I don't know why. No matter how thick or thin the skin is, it just does a great job going through a tomato, like silk. It's beautiful. No effort whatsoever, look at this. All I gotta do is move the knife. I don't have to push down on the knife. I just gotta move it. Let me go really close where it's soft, though, right there. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh yeah, and by the way, this knife sharpener, I have the perfect knife for it. I bought this Farberware years ago this thing couldn't cut butter. But I'm just gonna cut this tomato. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this tomato. It, do, it does a bad, not a bad job if you don't push down. But I'm gonna push down. I'm gonna cut. I have to kind of give it some pressure. Yeah, it's not, I'm squishing the tomato to cut through the skin, okay? So I'm gonna come through here. I'm gonna hold it like this in my hand 10 times. Whoops. Wow. It's like a spring-loaded action. It's kind of cool. And 
come all the way through, adding pressure. And oh, that was crazy. All right, cut through. Nice. All right, put that there. I'm just going to pull back, see if I can go through it. Oh, look at that. Just the weight of the knife. This is crazy. I've never used this knife other than to scrape my barbecue. I mean, look what it did. I wasn't able to do that before, not that smooth, not with the weight of the knife. It took my crappy farberware and made it a good knife again. Let's talk this wicked knife that I'm really, this is like gonna become my favorite knife. I just know it. I'm gonna use this knife, let me rinse it off real quick, and I'm gonna cut some chicken breast. If you've ever cut chicken breast at room temperature, it's wobbly, it doesn't cut well, it's kind of dangerous. But I'm in a dangerous mood. And then after we cut this chicken breast, I'm going to, uh... oh gosh, look at it, it just slices it. Loving it. It's crazy. Okay, it's time for my all new favorite knife to slice it. Here we go. One, two, stop. Yeah. Look at that bad boy. Did you see that cut? That was beautiful. Worked out perfect. I just want to say thanks to Knife Country USA for the Victorinex knives, and I will see you guys on the next episode. By the way, don't forget there's a coupon code right here if you want to grab anything, or if you just want to see me use it on the show for all of 2014. My new knives are Victorinex now. Take care, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.